What's going on guys? Power GPU here. Very excited for what's happening uh, right now, as of right now. In, uh, NVIDIA last night announced their new GTX 1070 and their new GTX 1080. The reason why I wanted to do this video is to tell you what exactly what I'm going to be doing when these cards come out. First of all, I'll be getting the GTX 1080 uh, day of release, so I'm going to order one of those. I am not going to sell my GTX 980 Ti, nor am I going to sell the GTX 970 that I have here. And the reason being for that is the 1080 is going to go up against my 980 Ti since it's kind of around the same price point, which now they're it's 599 uh, for the 1080, and then of course it's like 529 for the 980 Ti, which that might change on their release as well. Who knows? Uh, and then the 1070 is supposed to be replacing the 970. So the good thing is now that I have a stream box that I stream on Twitch, I have two capture cards. So I'm going to be doing side by side benchmarks simultaneously because I have two of the same exact uh, computers that are, have the same exact motherboard, same RAM, same processor, um, well, kind of close to the same processor. One has a 3930K, the other one has a 3960X, but I could it's, that's not a big difference in performance. Uh, but they got the same motherboard and same RAM as well. So I'm going to do a side-by-side -side benchmarks, so expect a ton, I mean a ton of videos to come out of me benchmarking the 1080 versus the 980 Ti, and then the 1070 versus the 970 as well. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Of course, it's going to be fun. It's going to be exciting. Uh, now on to the actual 1080 and the specifications. One thing I do want to clarify, which a lot of people on the internet have been saying, oh my gosh, two times the performance of a Titan X or you know, two times the performance of 980 SLI. Um, take the, all that stuff still with a grain of salt. Keep in mind, this is NVIDIA. It's their own product. They might exaggerate a little bit, or a lot of times what they do is they'll go ahead and uh, say it's two times the performance in the specific settings or the specific environment. Uh, for instance, so I've seen online that the two times the performance of a Titan X, it's in VR. So a lot of times they'll do that. They'll specify a game, oh, it's three times the performance in this game. Be at this settings, turn this off, turn this on, you know, whatever, at this resolution. And then it's two times the performance just in those, you know, specific environments. What I'm planning to do is when I get the card is I'm going to take it and literally just max out everything and not worry about anything. I don't care what the game has. It's, in the, you know, the pretty much the benchmark I'm doing is NVIDIA versus NVIDIA. So all the game works are on. All the physics are on. It's not AMD versus NVIDIA, the videos I'm going to be doing. So it's going to be perfectly fine if I turn up all the settings anyway. So I don't have to turn off physics or anything like that. All right. So like I said, I'm going to be getting both cards. I'll be benchmarking them like crazy. So expect easily 30 plus videos because I'm going to be doing each video for each game individually. If you guys want a certain game benchmarked, leave it in the comments below, and I'll do that for you. And I could benchmark it uh, up to 4K, just since you know we have DSR now as well, so you could upscale it as well, which is pretty cool. Um, but all right, so let's get into the 1080 first. You know, first of all, so 1080 wise, the as you can see on the top right hand corner, again, it's it's saying three times you know the performance. Uh, you go down here, it shows this chart. It says virtual reality, you know, Rise of Tomb Raider, The Witcher 3 Hunt. Uh, with these, they don't show specific numbers, of course, so you got to kind of guess it, which it's looking like to me it's, you know, a 60% increase in performance, but again, this is, I hate when they do charts like this. There's no specific numbers or anything, so it's really hard to tell what in the world that is. Um, as far as the looks, the aesthetics, I figured they're going to keep that Titan design look because that cooler is amazing. The You know, it's it's great as a reference card. Uh, and I've, I've always had all the, I've had the first Titan, I've had the 980s, I've had the 90 Ti's, uh, you know, I've had the 970s with the reference design. I love that design. That's one of my favorite designs, uh, from a, you know, video card company that's reference design. It's really good and it's not loud at all either, which is pretty cool. One thing that blew my mind was one eight pin connector, which is amazing. And then it has a 180 watt TDP, which for a card, this beast, that is phenomenal. Uh, the other thing too is I've noticed is it has the backplate again, like the 980 did. So if it comes with a black, uh, ba black, a backplate uh, like the 980 did, that's going to be pretty cool. Um, I did enjoy the aesthetics of that as well. It was pretty neat. Let's before we get into the specs here, I want to go over one more thing. Uh, now they have this so-called uh, I don't know why it's doing that. Now they have this so-called Founders Edition. Um, I didn't know what it was at first, but to explain it to you guys that don't know what it is, 
So you have your reference design cards that will be, you'll, I think you'll see them just on Newegg and Amazon and stuff like that. I have not seen Founders Editions or heard of anything, the Founders Edition being sold on Newegg or Amazon or, or whatever, Fry's. Um, that might be through NVIDIA only. I'm not sure because the only place I've seen the Founders Edition is on NVIDIA's website and it says to notify me. As you can see in the top right hand corner, it's up here. Um, the difference is it's kind of a cherry picked, uh, you know, 1080. So it's, you could overclock a lot more, you know, it might have a little bit better stability, um, but you're spending an extra hundred dollars on it. So it's going to be up to you, to the consumer to say if it's worth the extra hundred dollars. Now I wish I can get a founder's edition plus a reference design card. So that way we can benchmark and overclock and see which one actually is better if, you know, if it's a hundred dollars difference but of course I'm buying all this stuff out of my pocket out of my money so I can't buy two 1080s plus a two 1070s and you know so on and so forth it's going to be a lot of money but uh I'm doing this for you guys so that's why I gotta I gotta be careful how much I spend right um but other than that let's let's move on here um so yeah cooler design pretty sick uh great design on there uh spec wise so it's gonna have 2560 CUDA cores the base clock the base clock is gonna be a thousand six hundred and seven which is amazing. Uh, the boost is going to be 17, uh, 1733, which again, that's going to be different on every card. So, you know, if I get an, a 1080 and you get a 1080, uh, the boost class is going to be completely different. Um, it could be off up to 100 megahertz. You know, it, it's always like that. Uh, memory speed 10 gigabytes per second. It's going to be using the new 8 gigs of GDDR5X. Uh, the memory bit interface is going to be 256, and the memory bandwidth is going to be 320 which apparently that was supposed to be at 336, but they lowered it due to power efficiency, uh, and I guess to keep that 1.8 pin intact in the, you know, the TDP to 180. Um, of course, the VR, uh, the new NVIDIA Ansel, the G-Sync, Game Stream Ready, all that's available in there. Um, SLI, HB Bridge supported, you know, the hybrid bridge is going to be supported. Um, of course, it's DX12.1. Uh, you have Vulkan support API, yes, OpenGL. PCI Express 3.0, OS is, you know, all the way up to Windows 10. Um, maximum resolution is going to be 7,680 by 4360 at 60 hertz. Uh, that's going to be, that's pretty, that's pretty sick. Um, and then it has the new DisplayPort 1.4, which is going to be 4K at 120 hertz, um, which a lot of people have been asking for 4K at 120 hertz, but it's hard to find. Uh, now, now you can actually support it on this card. HDMI 2.0 and dueling DVI. So it's going to have Three display ports, one HDMI, and one DVI. All right, let's go down here. Graphics height is going to be 4.3, and length is going to be 10.5. That's really good size. Uh, I would say that's that's perfect, actually. Uh, maximum GPU temperature, 94 Celsius. Now, I'm not sure why they put that there. Does that mean at 94 Celsius it starts declocking itself? Because I know they did a video of the card being overclocked at the NVIDIA conference yesterday, or not yesterday, Friday, and uh, they said it got up to 70 Celsius at 2.1 gigahertz. Now, not sure if that was at room temperature or like if the, 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 the area was cold or whatever, or they had the fans being cranked up 100%. Again, we don't know. So that's why I say you guys got to, you know, I'll, I'll be doing a bunch of benchmarks here in ambient temperature, you know, in a, in a regular case. It's not going to be those little things that they try to maneuver around to get stuff, you know, to their advantage. Uh, graphics card TDP, like I talked about, 180, and recommended power system, 500 watts, 1.8 pin. So great great specs, you know, for the price. Um, it, it's I'm going to get one for sure, like I said. Uh, I'll benchmark it against the 90 Ti. Uh, one other thing, too, is they have not released the full specs yet on the 1070. We do know that it's going to be using 8 gigs of GDDR5, not X. Uh, it's going to be producing 6.5 teraflops versus 9 teraflops that the uh, 1080 is going to be producing. Um, again, they were saying that it's going to be quite a bit faster than the Titan X. It depends on what they mean by quite a bit faster than the Titan X, if it's, again, against VR. Um, it's <laughs> when these, Like I said, when they do these press conferences, you got to still take this stuff with a grain of salt, even though you have the specs right in front of you. And they, you know, play all these videos. Hey, look at this. You know, it's gonna, it could run at whatever FPS. We don't know if they overclocked. <laughs> we don't know if it's freezing cold in there to keep the boost clocks up. You know, we don't know if they put the fan speeds at 100% and all, you know, all this other stuff. I'm literally going to take the cards out of the box, put them in, and literally just run them. There's going to be no tweaking or anything like that. It's going to be out of the box factory. 
And of course, it's going to be reference design versus reference design, which is what I've always wanted. But that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to go over that real quick, explain a little thing, you know, a little bit about what these companies do. Um, and like I said, just be careful. Uh, if you want to buy the card based off what you saw at the NVIDIA press conference, that's totally up to you. Uh, these cards, I will let you know, will sell out very quickly. And it might not restock for a while. Every time these cards come out, it usually takes about a month, right around a month to restock. Um, and then you'll probably find them on eBay for nine hundred dollars or a thousand dollars or whatever so uh if you want to purchase them make sure you purchase them that day may 27th keep hitting that refresh button on newegg or amazon or fries whatever you get to go buy them from um just make sure you get them uh that day uh or else you're gonna be waiting for a while but that was pretty much it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video i got a lot of content to come uh with all these video cards um i want to bring back the name power gpu hence back to what i was doing originally but there wasn't a lot of technology coming out these past you know this past year so let's let's get all this done let's i want to make sure you guys get you guys make the right choice um again when amd comes out with their cards i'll be doing the same thing i'll be buying their highest end card and their second you know great card as well so we'll be benchmarking against the new 1080 and the new 1070. um so that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see you guys in the next one power gpu signing out see you